It's five questions on the TV show Scrubs from past podcast guest Jordan Zeilinger from Wreck My Podcast. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another daily edition of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. This is the show about pop culture and trivia that you can play along with that comes out every single day. Wherever you listen to podcasts, you can find it. Uh, This is Trivia with Buds Daily. Lots of different challenges for you on the short form. Sometimes we do some longer episodes. Sometimes it's people sending me questions, like this episode today from Jordan. He's a good buddy. He's one of my wrestling buddies. And uh, he plays trivia out at Pocock Brewing Company in Santa Clarita, California, every single Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. He also runs a podcast himself called Wreck My Podcast, where him and his friends reminisce about stuff from their childhood, like Are You Afraid of the Dark, Dexter's Lab, and tons, tons more. He was featured on episode 84 of my show, facing off against his wife Madison in Craft Beer and Grease, the movie and musical trivia. So that is a fun one. If you like beer and cheesy sing-along dance singing movies uh go listen to that episode episode 84 of this show jordan's a big fan of scrubs and so am i and my wife we actually just started watching the show over again on hulu because they took it off of netflix uh a little bit ago and we we're like let's watch it and we have them on dvd but we're like uh do we have to put the discs in so we waited till they added it back on hulu and we're in the middle of season one right now so it's fun to go back and watch that i can't believe how early in the 2000s that show came out uh you can tell by their cell phones and things like that so go watch scrubs if you like scrubs it's on hulu and here are five questions on scrubs let's see how i do uh this is a show i started watching with my wife in college when it was still on Uh, she was my girlfriend at the time and uh, she loved it she's a huge zach braff fan And uh, R.I.P. Alex Inc., which just got canceled on ABC. We were watching that and kind of getting into it, but they canceled it. Let's jump into these Scrubs questions. Let's do it right now. Question number one, I'm going to give you the question, then I'll give you my answer, then we'll take a quick break, and then we'll jump into uh, the answers, the actual answers. Here's question number one. What does J.D. stand for? Um, I think that his name, J.D., stands for John Dorian. They say it quite a bit on the show John Dorian is my answer for number one. What does JD stand for on Scrubs? My answer, John Dorian. Question number two, what is Dr. Cox's ex-wife's first name? Her first name is uh, also starts with a J. What is it? Um, my answer is Jordan. She was on Drew Carey show, I believe, too. Jordan is my answer. Number two. Number three, what actor says, I am the king of gay chicken in the show? What actor says, I am the king of gay chicken in the show? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to say Zach Braff. That's probably my guess. Zach Braff probably says something like that. Uh, Number four, does the janitor tell JD his real name? My answer is no. I don't think he ever does. Um, It's been a long time since I've seen the end of the series does he reveal it at the end i don't know i'm gonna say no the janitor does not tell jd his real name and question number five who did not guest star in scrubs was it uh john ritter michael j fox mandy moore or matt leblanc john ritter michael j fox mandy moore or matt leblanc okay i think uh i think john ritter was his dad michael j fox i think was a doctor Mandy Moore, I always remember because she's the girl who says, that's so funny instead of laughing because uh, I find myself saying that <laughs> to people all the time when uh, I'm not, uh, it's not funny, but I say, that's so funny instead of laughing. <laughs> so I always think of that episode. Uh, and Matt LeBlanc, I don't think Matt LeBlanc was on it because, well, this show, Friends kind of ended, I think, in 04. This show is just getting its steam in 04, but I still don't think he was on it. So my guess is Matt LeBlanc. All right, so uh, those are my answers for uh, Jordan's great questions about Scrubs. Uh, Hopefully you answered and played along too. And uh, we're going to play a clip from the episode of Jordan's podcast that I was on. This one was about Avengers, and uh, or it was about Avengers films, Marvel films, and I think we were talking about the Avengers. So here's a quick clip from Jordan's Wreck My Podcast. 
It was because the, the Mandarin was who was supposed to be. His last name's Hammer. Right? No, no, that was Iron Man two. He was in that. It was some yeah oh. something Hammer. This guy. Um, There's another like invention guy. This guy is the one who created the extremist uh, virus and everything. Yeah. So you oh, thought it was going to be the Mandarin, oh, but the Mandarin it's, was it's like a the front dude who was like a weirdo who like hit him up when he was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He was oh, super crap. What's weird? And Tony Stark just blew him mm. off. Yeah. This is basically The Incredibles. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this oh is my seriously. God, this, dude, just, this movie <laughs> is The Incredibles. Broke yeah. the glass that right is there. so Holy funny. Cow. This guy's name is also very like um when you name someone and it's just in your face like like Kill. Guy Pierce. Yeah, yeah, like Guy Pierce. Yeah, exactly. Like this guy has a villainous name. Okay, hit me it's, with it. It's Aldrich Killian. Oh, Killian. Oh, Killian. All right. That was uh, Wreck My Podcast. Check that out wherever podcasts are found. Subscribe for new episodes every single week from Jordan Zeilinger and Wreck My Podcast. If you like nostalgia and reminiscing about your childhood, if you are, uh, let's say, 35 or under, you will love the show. All right. These are the answers to the Scrubs questions Jordan sent me. Uh, we'll see how I did compared to the actual answers. Question one, what does JD stand for? John Michael Dorian. So uh, extra points if you knew his middle name, but John Dorian, JD, I did get that one correct. Question number two, what is Dr. Cox's ex-wife's first name? Jordan. Jordan Sullivan is her last name. Jordan was correct as well. Uh, Jordan for Dr. Cox's ex-wife's first name. Question three, what actor says, I am the king of gay chicken? I don't really remember this from an episode, but uh, Jordan says the answer is Brendan Fraser. I do remember him being on the show. I think he plays Jordan's brother who uh, maybe dies tragically at the hospital. He's really good friends with Dr. Cox, I think. Um, But I guess he says that. He has to say that real loud. I'm the king of gay chicken, Brendan Fraser. Number four, does the janitor tell JD his real name? Yes, Glenn Matthews, confirmed by Bill Lawrence, Jordan says. So that must have been in an interview or something afterwards. Glenn Matthews in uh, Scrubs, the janitor's real name. So I did forget that. Number five, who did not guest star in Scrubs? The answer was Matt LeBlanc. I was right about that, and I think I was right. Dr. Uh, Michael J. Fox was a doctor with OCD, which they gave him as a way for him to act with his uh, Parkinson's. So that kind of worked out good. Mandy Moore was the girlfriend and uh, John Ritter was his dad, who I think dies on the show. And then they wrote that into the show uh, because he had died in real life. So Matt LeBlanc answer for that last one. Those were great questions. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks for supplying those for today's episode of the show. Check out Jordan's podcast, Wreck My Podcast, wherever podcasts are found. Follow him on Instagram at BS and Craft Beer. He has a blog of the same name, BS and Craft Beer, Blood, Sweat, and Craft Beer is what that stands for. Uh, If you like wrestling, beer, and, uh, you know, working out, things like that, he's got a little bit of everything in his brand, in his show. You'll love it. And uh, that is today's episode. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. If you like this show, go leave a review on iTunes or Google Play, wherever you listen to it. And uh, I would appreciate that. We are getting some great numbers for this show. So thank you so much for uh, making it part of your daily routine. Or maybe you listen on the weekends and you let them kind of uh, build up. That's what I would do if I was listening. I do that with uh, a few money management podcasts and uh, marketing podcasts. So Thank you for listening and uh, telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.